Disclaimer, if in doubt, please instruct a competent qualified electrician as I would hate for anybody to blow themselves up. It's always very important to be safe. So the electrics in this house, it's clear here, it tells you uh, the fuse board and all sorts. And this is the fuse board. So if I wanted to turn off the lights downstairs, clearly marked here that that switch is for the downstairs light so I can turn that off but if you want to be super safe you can turn off this main switch turns off all the electrics to the whole house and just a note of just for note if for instance one of these switches um, you overload the system then it's got an RCD here which um, trips out all the electrics and um, it will show you where the problem is in one of these rooms whatever it is that's tripping your electrics but that's just, just just a side note and you can also if you've got more than one person living in the house and you're uh, messing around with electrics then you can put a tape over here so people know not to switch it off and remember to tell people what you're doing so they don't accidentally switch on the electrics while you're working on them so I'm just going to show you how to change a light fitting this is um, I'm going to be putting up an IKEA fitting which is that one up there and I've partially done it okay but I'm going to show you um, there's a lot of videos on here but they're very complicated Right, so this is the old standard bayonet fitting. This, right, so here you've got the neutral and the live, I think. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so you've got two wires on the light fitting. This wire also has two wires, so I'm just going to show you how to do this. IKEA are amazing. They give you what I could describe as a Wago fitting. On there so you've got the live um, this is the live wire this is the neutral wire I'm not using the earth wire because I don't need to earth this because it's not metal it's all plastic um, I've taken down the old fitting I'll show you that this was the old base fitting and the wires were hooked into here and it was earthed here they didn't need to do that but they did it anyway and then the wires came up through here i'll put a picture in to show you what it originally looked like just a quick note it's always a good idea to take a picture of the light fitting before you take it down so you can familiarize yourself with the fitting and you know where the wires go it looked really complicated but i took it down anyway <laughs> so the ikea instruction says that you need to remove um the IKEA instructor said you need to remove this part and install a hook instead of having this plate installed, okay? So the hook doesn't come with the um, light fitting. I purchased these hooks from screw hooks from the pound shop, obviously a pound. So I used a hammer to knock this into uh, I used a hammer to knock this into the joist here it, and I found a joist there luckily enough because if you hammer it into the plaster it's just going to fall and crumble over me it's not going to adhere to the plaster the hook won't go through the plaster it's not strong enough to hold it um, always remember where your screws are in case you need a light fitting which requires a plate um, it's handy right so on this what I would call sorry about the paint on my fingernails I'm still painting um, a way I would call this like a way go fit in it's really good it's so easy you just press these down and put the wires in and then you just feed it through here and this is just so you can pull the light up and eventually this hooks onto the hook here and then this goes in here so I'm gonna hook it all up I can't do it with one hand but I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished So I've adjusted the length of the light to about here. I think that's fine, but I can always readjust it. So let me just show you. So to readjust it, whatever length you want, because you've got all this flex, you just feed it into this part here and that loosens it and just make sure you hook it onto there. And I forgot to say that this handy thing here, the 
So my camera cut off here, but what I was going to say was that that connector block or Wago fitting clicks onto the unit. And um, yeah, that's about it really. So um, let's carry on with the video. I've attached the light up. So I'm just gonna show you um, just the finishing touches, what you've got to do. Right, and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so you've got a little knob here. So you can undo this and then this should come down like that right so you've got the hook and you can let me just uh, basically what you've got here is um i forgot to say this in a video but the thing that i've got my finger on there is like a nut and when i unscrewed the light that is what i was unscrewing so when you put the unit back again you're screwing it into that and that's what secures the top uh, base unit into the light uh, this comes with the light you get this hook and it hooks onto here I don't know if you can see it it's like a the hooks in the way so you see it hooks onto there so that's why you need the hook in the ceiling right um, I used a cable tie to tie these cables up just so they're out of the way because you've got a lot of flex here and you can adjust the lamp to whatever length you want so if you want the lamp um, to hang if so if you wanted the lamp to hang down really low you could have it hanging down really low but that's stupid so anyway so I've put I've tied it up so it makes it neater okay so then you've got so this is all done now and it's all good and it's all safe. Um, so you put the um, light back up and you've got this bit here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So you've got this little bit here and that goes in here and then you twist it and it will stay in place. So I'm just gonna put that together and then show you twisting it again I'm doing this with one hand so it's really cut now so I forgot to show you there's a, like a little nut at the end of that little <laughs> I don't know what it's called that kit thing and you that bit screws into there so it allows you to screw this in place by just screwing that and that's really secure now um and I'm just gonna yeah it's really secure it's not gonna come down and that's it so let's just see if the light works brilliant that is working and it's lovely so my philosophy is why pay someone to do a job when you can do it yourself please do not forget to like and subscribe if you found this video useful and helpful and i will be doing a few more diy projects soon